Right, this is an example of how you might complete a coursework task. So this is the, this year's specimen paper, which was released in 2023, August. Um, and all I've done is I'm just going to skip through some bits, but I thought we'd look at this bit here, then we'd skip through to the part where we're actually implementing the program. Right. So the task is to measure how easy a sentence is to read. It's called the reading age. One method of calculating this is to use the average length of the words in the sentence. So the longer the average word length, the higher the leader reading age. The program is required to calculate the approximate reading age, uh, junior, teen or senior, of a single sentence with a maximum of 20 words. The user will enter each word in a sentence one at a time. The program will then calculate the average word length and display an appropriate message. So the key bit for this, 20 words. Let's skip ahead, find the part where we're doing it. So we have to do some bits and pieces and then we get to here. So this is what we're going to use to do it. So let us change the zoom to fit the width. Okay, so this is the part where we're saying using a choice of programming uh, and I'll start and implement the program. Okay, print evidence, 15 marks worth and we're given this. So this is a structure diagram, and the key for a structure diagram is you start at the top, work down to the left, back up, down to the left, back up, all the way through each one. Okay. So there are 20 words maximum in this, and we're just going to use this structure diagram. Okay, so I'm going to take this off the screen, I'm going to put it over on the other side so that I can see it, um, and you would do the same, except obviously working with paper. You might want to grab a screen grab of this just now. That way you can look at it as implement the program. Okay. So we start off nice and simply. So this is the N5 specimen paper. Uh, now, good practice when you're going ahead and you're going to do this to just be coding it up as you go along, internal commentary, white space, indentation, etc. That way you won't have to go back and do it. Remember, this task is 15 marks worth. It's uh, probably going to take a couple of periods to type it, and therefore you want to make sure that you are saving as you go along, making sure you're taking notes, so that when you come in next time you're doing it. Okay. Right. So, um... Program Reading Age Analyzer, so let's just put that at the top then. Reading Age Analyzer. Okay. Right. Get the valid number of words in a sentence. 20 words in a sentence, so that's our maximum. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. So we'll just do it with uh, area. Ask, repeat, error, ask. So let's go ahead, print. How many words in the sentence? Okay. Words equals uh, int input. Okay, so we ask. Repeat while words less ah uh, zero is probably one it's gonna be one to twenty is probably the right one so while words less than one or words greater than twenty okay print a sentence must have been 20 words. Ask, repeat, error, ask. Copy that in. Go ahead and do it. Oh, a bit of a typo there. I'll just fix that at the same time. Okay, so my advice, save it. Every time you get through this top level, okay, so every time you get through one of these top level, run and test it every time. That way, if you get stopped, you know that the bit you've done so far works. 
All right, so run it. How many words in the sentence? So it's between 1 and 20, 4. But that works. Let's try it with 0. Okay, the sentence must have between 1 and 20 words. Let's try it with 21. Must have between 1 and 20 words. 5. Okay, so I'm happy that that does what I want to do. So start a loop for each word in the sentence. So for index in range words. Done. Get and store the next word. Oh, get and store the next word. So we're going to have to store it. So if we're going to have to store it, do we have to then play it back at the end? So let's have a wee look at the design. Uh, display the next word on a new line. So get and store. We're going to have to replay it back. Therefore, we are going to use an array for this task. Okay. Now, chances are if we went into analysis, we'd have seen we need an array. But let's go ahead and do it. So I know that the maximum size of this array is 20 words. So I can just create sentence equals square brackets, quote marks for X in range 20. So, sentence index equals get and store the next word. So, input ready. Okay, yeah, and so the next word, calculate the length of the words. Length equals len bracket sentence x. Okay, add one, th add the word, add the length of the word onto total. Total equals total plus length. Now, need a total. So I'm going up the top here and I'm going to put total to zero. Okay, and I can do that. So that looks good. So save it. It's the end of this top level. I'm going to run it. I'm going to try it for five words. Many words in the sentence. Five. Uh, Dance in the dark. One, two, three, four, five. Seems to be fine so far. So far. Okay. So average equals the total divided by the number of words. So average equals total divided by words. Done. Start a loop for each. Word. So for index in range words, display the next word on a new line. Print sentence square brackets index. Save it up. Run it again. Five words, uh, dance in the dark, seems to be okay so far. Going to the next bit, it says display the average word length is, so print, oh, indentation, spite space, double quotes, the average word length is colon average and again I could run this at this point and that way we'll know the average bit of the code's working I'm just going to go for three though so let's try I'll take an here here and that way it should be three 
Okay, and here, 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 average is three. Good, and the next bit we're on is an if statement. Now, the one thing that's important when you're doing a coursework is to make sure you follow the design as given. Don't make up other stuff, okay? So, if average less than five, Print short words suitable for junior readers. Okay. And then it says if no, then is the average. So we could do elf. Average greater than or equal to five and average less than or equal to seven. And if that's true, we're going to say medium words. Suitable, suitable for teen readers or else print long words suitable for teen readers. And I can run this. This is going to go with three. So again, I'm just going to go for a, hen, red. There you go. So a, hen, red, the average word length is 2.666. Seems awful long. It'd be nice if that was rounded, but I don't remember it asking me to round it. Maybe I should check. Uh, back in the notes to see if it does. We can take a note of that. And let's try something that's a wee bit longer. So run. Purple. Oh. Okay, so the input validation doesn't work for text, but we don't have to. Level 5, so I'll do that again. Do 3 this time. Purple. Hero Okay, so average length is six, medium word suitable for team readers, and that seems fine. So the program appears to work. Right now I've got the indentation, I've got the white space, I don't have internal commentary, so I think what I'll do is just at the start of each block of code, I'm just gonna put down what it says at the top. So I'm going to put in set up variables down here. This was get valid number of words in a sentence. This one down here was a start loop. So what's this doing? This is get words. Here is calculate average. This was down here is display words. Display average. And down here, display reading age. So by using the white space in between the blocks of code, I was able to see what each bit is. Okay. We save it, screenshot it, have a look in the program code. Check and see if there's a test run. Okay, so you could test run to do it and make sure you follow all the instructions to see if they're right. Okay. Print evidence and do another bits and pieces. So there's other stuff from there. So now you'd have to work up and do through it. All right. But I'm fairly happy that that's the task completed.
And even though we might not still understand what reading age is, by simply following the programme code, sorry, the programme design, we were getting what we're looking for by the end of it. So there you go. That's how to do a coursework task. Uh, obviously, the amount of time it took me to do it might be uh, significantly less than the amount of time it takes you to do it because it's not the first time I've done this. Okay, thank you very much.